it didn't come across as believable, a juror told Good Morning America this morning about Amber Heard's testimony in the recent defamation trial brought by her ex Johnny Depp. It seemed like she was able to flip the switch on her emotions. She would answer one question and she would be crying and two seconds later she would turn eyes cold. It didn't seem natural. The male juror's statements are the first made publicly by anyone on the seven-person panel, which consisted of two women and five men. They had their husband-wife arguments. They were both yelling at each other, the juror told GMA Today. I don't think that makes either of them right or wrong. That's what you do when you get into an argument, I guess. But to rise to the level of what she was claiming, there wasn't enough or any evidence that really supported what she was saying. Related Story Amber Heard defends op-ed at center of defamation case, says that she still loves Johnny Depp and has no bad feelings or ill will toward him, update. Speaking of which, the juror questioned the authenticity of too much discussed photos of Heard with what was alleged to be bruising on her face. Depp's lawyers maintained the color saturation in one had been manipulated to increase the prominence of the alleged bruise on her face. Those were two different pictures. We couldn't really tell which picture was real and which one was not, said the juror. Another assertion that Heard heard with the juror was how she parsed her words about a pledge to donate the proceeds from the couple's divorce, which Depp's team maintained she had not followed through on. Heard testified that a pledge and a donation are synonymous with one another and mean the same thing. The jurors saw it differently. The fact is, she didn't give much of it away at all, he said. It was disingenuous. There was speculation in the media that, since Depp was the bigger star, jurors might lean in his direction. But the juror maintained that none of us were really fans of either one of them. As for the impact of social media, which was another talking point outside the courtroom, he said the majority of the jury did not have Twitter accounts, including himself. Social media did not impact us. We followed the evidence. We didn't take into account anything outside, the courtroom. We only looked at the evidence, they were very serious accusations and a lot of money involved. So we weren't taking it lightly. You can watch today's GMA segment below.